what's up guys? Today we have an unboxing from um, Tarantula Tastic Enclosures, so let's get into it. I've opened up the box already just for the easel being able to film because I want to get these into their new habitats as soon as possible. So, first up we have an Idiotheli mirror. Um, juvenile. I'm just sorting out the tape, but yeah, here it is in here. And then we've also got some P. horrida assassin bugs. So yeah, let's start rehousing now. So, first off, we'll rehouse the eye mirror. Uh, they're a old world uh, fossorial species, endemic to, um, South Africa, and, oh, that was quick, but as you can see, uh, it's called the Bluefoot Baboon due to those stunning blue feet, um, and it's absolutely awesome. This is also one of two genuses to be known for creating a, ta a trapdoor, uh, the other species being Tychophena, so things like Celadonia, Coste, Curinum, but these guys Unlike Celadonia, these create their flap door, their trap door on the ground, like a, um, uh, like species like Lephistius would do, but also an awesome species and one I would recommend for any collection. So, next up, on to the assassin bug. Okay, so next up, we've got the Cytala Horrida. I'm just going to open up their tub quickly. And yeah, we'll put them in. So these were produced by Steve himself. Um, which is absolutely awesome. So, as you can see here, they're pretty tall, small at the moment. But they'll grow to a decent size. And I'll eventually have to upgrade them. That's one in, well there's quite a few actually, so in you go, there's another, this little one, oh there's loads, I might just start by coaxing them all off that way. Yeah, there's loads of them in here. So, these are a really cool species. They're from Africa as well. Um, they're better, in my opinion, they're better than the predatory beetles because um, they live longer. You can actually produce these in captivity. Um, they've got quite a nasty little bite to them, so they use their rostrums, which is a little rod on the front that they use to disabled prey. Um, they're pretty easy to breed as I said so you want to keep one side moist with the adults um, just in case they do decide to breed. I might just put that in there. Actually no that's not going to work. I'll just straight them on the sides I think. There's loads, so um as I said, you're gonna want to keep these nice and um nice and dry with a humidity corner so they can lay eggs. And they're absolutely amazing to have. They're fun to watch hunt as well. Because uh, they can also be known for coordinated attacks and hunting in groups. You're going to want to have like a constant supply of prey, which I'll add in the form of locusts and fruit flies in a minute or two. I'm just doing these first. It seems that one or two have molted in transit, so that's pretty cool. 
but they're fun to, as I said, they're fun to keep and absolutely awesome to catch. Oh, we got one in my hand. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to check the rest of this paper to make sure that there's none left. But as you can see, absolutely awesome little species. Uh, we'll have a link to um, Steve in the um, in the description. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks to Steve for these awesome species. And yeah, see you in the next one.